DC Universe Rebirth struck the world of DC like a bolt of lightning this Wednesday, with 80 pages of answers, new questions, and the biggest twist ending since 1986. We're here to count down the moments that will echo throughout the time stream with the DC All Access Top 10 Rebirth Moments That Matter. First up, wedding bells are ringing for Aquaman and Mira after Arthur proposed to his true love on the very beach where she tried to kill him once upon a time. Villains from the depths beware, the king and queen of Atlantis are sure to be an unstoppable force. Our number 9 sees Jessica Cruz spin out of the pages of Justice League as a Green Lantern in a brief conversation with Hal Jordan. Jessica debuted in 2014 as a recluse who was possessed by the parasitic power ring, and we can't wait to see her rise as a hero. Damian Wayne popped up in a small but significant moment. His birthday cake notably marks the beginning of his teenage years, which leads to bigger things for Robin as a member of the Teen Titans. Number 7 teases Ryan Choi's return as the Atom. Ryan works for Ray Palmer and discovers that Ray disappeared into the microverse. Palmer left Ryan a size-changing belt, and now it's up to Ryan to figure out the technology so he can enter the microverse and save his mentor. Next, the new heroes, Gotham and Gotham Girl, debuted in a single shadowy panel, with barely a hint of how they'll fit into the DC Universe. Check out Batman number 1 to see how they change the Dark Knight's world. Seeing Ted Kord and Jaime Reyes together took our blues away. Ted built a mobile headquarters for the pair, but Jaime seems more concerned with removing his alien scarab than forming a new dynamic duo. We'll be holding our breath until we're blue in the face to watch this dream team fly into action. Next up, Green Arrow and Black Canary haven't been together in continuity since the fall of Green Arrow in 2010. But DC Universe Rebirth dropped some heavy hints at a romantic reunion for one of DC's most popular couples. We can't wait to see if Cupid's Arrow finds its mark. The beloved Aqualad from Brightest Day is back in our number three, and he's struggling with his sexuality just as much as his powers. Aqualad's return will send waves across the seven seas. Johnny Thunder's cameo sent a rumble through the fan base. We see Johnny as an old man trying to escape from a nursing home, and Wally West tells him he can still find the Justice Society. Could that mean the JSA will return? We'll have to wait and see. The return of red-headed Wally West means we get two Wally Wests in the same universe. The Wallys are cousins, and the younger speedster is taking over the mantle of Kid Flash. And with what's going on in Barry Allen's book, the question of who is the fastest man alive just got a lot more complicated. Welcome back, Wally. Well, that's our list, but if you think we missed anything worth mentioning, let us know in the comments below. And if you haven't checked out DC Universe Rebirth yet, you have seriously been living underneath a rock, and you need to run, Barry, run to your local comic book shop because you do not want to miss that special. It sets up everything going down in the world of DC, so make sure you go get your copy. We'll see you guys next week.